Now, starting with news from the United States, now the probe against Hunter Biden, that's ramping up. Right. Now, the over House Oversight Committee, that's leading the investigation. It's seeking records that allegedly show that President Joe Biden facilitated his son's business dealing during his time as Vice President. Exactly. Now, the legal woos and, of course, the allegations are all mounting and you are seeing it mounting on both sides with Joe Biden and Donald Trump on the right. other side. Right now, we're, of course, talking about Joe Biden's camp. Now, House Republicans are looking into President Joe Biden's alleged use of a fake name to mask his identity. House Committee Chairman James Comer has requested the National Archives and Records Administration to hand over shielded documents related to any official duties Joe Biden undertook while being the vice president that overlapped with Hunter Biden's business dealings in Ukraine. Comer has sought documents in which the elder Biden allegedly used a pseudonym. Right, the pseudonym they're referring to here is Robert L. Peters, which was revealed from Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop. The use of pseudonyms are supposed to prevent the discovery of any communication by the member of the government under Freedom of Information Act. Apart from this, Comer has also requested to hand over certain other documents in this case as well. These includes drafts of Biden's December 2015 speech to Ukraine's parliament. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden's top lawyer and White House counsel Stuart Delery is planning to leave his post next month. Delery has been in the job since July of 2022. He advised the president on advancing his legislative agenda and defending against Republican-led congressional investigations. Right, and his departure at the time of deepening probe into his son can escalate Biden's troubles, who's running for 2024 elections. No replacement had yet been named for Biden's top lawyer position. Now, earlier we spoke to our correspondent Susan Tehrani, who explains that if the National Archives release the communications between Joe and Hunter Biden, Back in June, what will happen next? Listen in. The committee is seeking unrestricted special access to a case file by the National Archives titled Email Messages to and or from Vice President Biden and Hunter Biden. And while emails were released and made public back in June, two specific emails were not included and the two that were included were heavily redacted. Now the committee is asking for the entire unrestricted copy of these emails. We do know from those two emails that there were correspondence between then Vice President Biden's aide, John Flynn, uh, to Vice President Biden's personal account with the Vice President at that time using pseudonames. Hunter Biden was CC'd notably in correspondence regarding Ukraine and the Vice President's meeting with Ukrainian officials. Susan also weighed in on how the White House is responding to the overload of allegations by Comer and his team. First, it's important to ask whether Comer's factual claims can be substantiated. But the White House has gone from there was no connection whatsoever between Joe Biden and Hunter Biden's business to there was a connection between father and son. However, it was innocent to then moving forward and saying there is no direct proof that now President Biden was paid off. 